I just fixed uh, the problem in my toilet tank that uh, after flushing it doesn't fill up the water quickly enough so it was taking ages to fill up and uh, so meantime the, the, uh, I kind of uh, suffered and uh, well you know maybe that's a water pressure problem or something like that but I uh, decided to be a do-it-yourself person and uh, in the past, uh, uh, ever since I moved to this particular house, there's a lot of the problem there. And uh, therefore, sometimes I uh, became like a person who is, uh, you know, knowledgeable about something and uh, uh, who is who can fix those things. And uh, first of all. Um, that particular attitude is, I think, for some people, it's very, very difficult. I think uh, you feel like you don't know anything, and you feel like, yeah, you have to ask someone paying, uh, you know, three hundred dollars or four hundred dollars for repair, which is ridiculous. But uh, you know, something it's easy to fix. I think I remember. When I was working, my boss, who was a you know, young guy, but uh, who is very, very smart and very handy, and he was fixing everything, anything he encountered. He was a builder, uh, used to be a builder. So he knows about how to, you know, build a house and everything. But uh, even then, I was kind of admired him, uh, his capability of fixing anything and I think his attitude is like a yeah you if you know if you're smart enough to fix everything anything and you have to buy some tools probably and then you can study you can re do a research and uh, you get to know how to fix it fortunately like a Home Depot and all those supply store uh, those parts are very very cheap so um, I noticed uh, one of the things is that I uh, encountered is first thing I encountered is that my sprinkler system, the sprinkler was broken, so water is gushing out. I so, oh, you know, I never replaced the uh, sprinkler head, so I don't know I could do that. But uh, then again, you know, I was kind of a little bit curious. And so I kind of uh, dug, and it's not the easy task. It's very, very difficult. Sprinkler system, uh, deep under the uh, grass, and you have to dig it and find out where the sprinkler is connected. So, so that particular sprinkler head, I. I uh, went to the store and bought uh, the new sprinkler head. But I, I, rather than saying that, I think I bought the plug because other sprinkler head, I didn't need it because I converted to the uh, uh, more or less like a perennial bed. So I don't need a sprinkler head there. Uh, so I uh, took that particular one and plugged it and then replaced this broken one and that worked fine as I'm kind of became very very proud then I noticed also the former owners I think this is like a uh, uh, me as the third person third owner but I think definitely first uh, person I think uh, who built the house or who was the first owner of the house uh, didn't think of much about uh, sprinkler system so some area they have like a three or four of them very close together watering something you know the sprinkler for the grass there's a lot of water coming out there and usually you do 
kind of a short time to water but uh, uh, I have to plug some of the, those plugs close proximity sprinkler head uh, you know which is kind of a redundant sprinkler head so I did that and that was like a, you know I had a good feeling of uh, fixing that uh, then one zone was like a coming up intermittently when I uh, operated. All the other zone, I have a four zones of a sprinkler system, and uh, um, three zones are doing fine, but this particular zone is like intermittent. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. So, wow, you know, I uh, did the research and I tried to find out, uh, you know, where the valve is. And it seems like the valve is a fault because a controller, sprinkler controller, uh, are working uh, fine there because uh, when I operated to that particular zone, the water pressure is very, very low, but it comes on, comes on, but uh, you know, the pressure was not good enough. So evidently, I think the valve was fault. So this one, I I don't know how to find the the valve is, and I have no idea. So I have to call the sprinkler uh, person, uh, and he came and he fixed it very very nicely because he has uh, this special tool to find uh, where the valve is located, and he found it and he dug underneath the uh, the grass, and uh, this particular valve is hidden underneath the you know, very healthy grass on top. So you have to get rid of the uh, patch of uh, the grass and um, uh, you have to open the particular valve and uh, uh, you have to you know, replace with a new one or something. That's what he did. And, uh, so yeah, it's nice to know how to fix all these miscellaneous things. So sprinkler head I could replace, I could uh, manage, uh, you know, doing that, taking care of that. Uh, but the dishwasher also stopped, uh, stopped working uh, because uh, the pump to uh, take the, all the, the liquid wa uh, washed water uh, and usually those uh, water is hosed out to the uh, where the disposal uh, working at in that particular area there's uh, this hose coming in from the uh, dishwasher so for that you know I I didn't know what, what the problem was to begin with so I have to I have to ask somebody to come in and uh, he came, but he refused to fix it because the, there's a copper pipe sitting there connected to the dishwasher. And uh, he is not supposed to touch the copper pipe. So, you know, they told me I have to uh, ask somebody to replace the uh, copper pipe to the flexible pipe. So, wow, yeah, okay. So I have to uh, call again. And this plumber was very, very nice, and he came by and uh, they quickly replaced the uh, copper pipe. And so I called him back, but then uh, this is Sears repair person, and a different, different guy came in. And uh, he um, quick, uh, quickly fixed it, like a, you know, less than like a 15 minutes or something. Uh, so, yeah, wow, you know, if I could have that knowledge. Uh, I could have done that, but then again, dishwasher is kind of a cumbersome because you have to uh, get underneath it and you have to know where exactly you're replacing the the pump. So anyway, he replaced the pump and it's everything working fine now. So today I, uh, I decided to tackle this problem of a slowly filling up tank of the toilet. And uh, the best 
uh, way to, to know those things is the YouTube. I think, uh, uh, of course, you do, um, uh, you know, internet search for how to fix the uh, slowly filling up uh, water in the toilet. And uh, so, you know, I kind of know how to fix uh, one by one, maybe, because uh, they would tell you, you know, each one. But some of them are uh, not appropriate and not the uh, most uh, crucial things there. But he, you know, people put a lot, lots of uh, uh, article or uh, uh, video uh, about how to fix a slow filling uh, toilet tank. Uh, but uh, uh, some of them are, are very, very good. And so I found that uh, if you take this, the filling bulb uh, off from the toilet tank and uh, uh, take at the bottom, there was uh, this plastic uh, flow slowing uh, part in there. And uh, the, they're all taking off that particular so uh, the, 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 I think controlling the water flow, I think, uh, because I think uh, what I understand is like if you have that particular spiral um, a plastic thing, uh, that the water doesn't sound loud when it's filling up. But, you know, this is ridiculous. It's filling up like a, you know, it takes like a, oh, I don't know, 20 minutes to half an hour to fill up there. So um, finally I realized that, yeah, I have to do that. And it uh, took me oh, about two or three hours to figure out how that, you know, because I don't have uh, tools or anything to fix those things. But, uh, you know, uh, I have a little prior and uh, a little, you know, uh, long, um, to, to take that particular plastic thing off. Uh, so after that, now it, it's working fine. It's like a, you know, uh, maybe 30 seconds it's filled up now. So yeah, I got to know that, wow, you know, this DIY thing, you really have to pay attention because yeah, most of them you can fix it yourself. If you are smart enough, or if you are, uh, you know, dedicated enough to 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 do all these things, uh, so realize that yeah, I mean the same money, lots of money to to be a do-it-yourself person. So I will recommend anybody who are, you know, I don't know. Uh, living in a house uh, facing the lot lots of issues in the house you know like a bathroom toilet uh, doors windows uh, you know dishwasher uh, you know all these things uh, plumbing uh, you really have to think about yeah smart enough to think about what's wrong with this and uh, yeah, you can fix it. And uh, I, you know, there's a lots of people uh, fixing themselves that uh, you can see that if you go to Home Depot, for example, there's lots, lots of homeowners uh, type of people uh, there to find out how to fix it. You know, screws, uh, the, the size of screw and um, the number metric system or the English system, whatever, of the, those uh, thread, you have to know that. But other than that, you know, you really buy the very tiny piece of replacement, which is costing like a dollar, two dollars or three dollars or something like that. And that saves, you know, tremendous amount of money when you asking somebody to come in to, to help you. So, yeah. So this uh, little tips of the person, especially like a senior person who doesn't have much <laughs> because 
you know, they are retired person, so therefore they don't have much uh, to do. So they should pick up some of those uh, books, or if it's not books, you, you have an internet and then you, you really have to uh, search for those miscellaneous problems, how to fix it. And there are plenty of them there. But to caution you that some of the, uh, the YouTube video, I think some of them are very good. So you really have to, rather than uh, watching just one video, you have to watch you know, several videos and you, you have to get the consensus of the problem. Because, uh, uh, yeah, some of them are not that appropriate for your purposes. So, um, yeah. Uh, you, you have to be careful, but I think it's a it's kind of a nice hobby, maybe a DIY as a hobby. <laughs>